Hey everybody, Sydney here, and today I am doing this seat little turtle shell. So I don't know what type of turtle this was when it was alive, but um, quite a few years ago a friend had given me this turtle shell, and so I decided to paint it. So in this tutorial, step one would be to get a turtle shell from a long dead turtle, I guess? however you want to figure that part out. Step two would be to make sure it's clean. Step three would be to get paints. So that I was using some like, I think it's Deco Art Crafters acrylic paint. So it's very runny, I guess you would call it. And then what would be, I guess, what was that on step four? So step five would be to get paint brushes and your whole setup. And then to start painting. So this is not something to go, oh my, and freak out about when painting. You don't. It's just something to have fun at, like really casual with it. Because something that's really, oops, I just dropped it. Um, okay, here we go. Something that's really cool is that you can always repaint it later if you change your mind or if it didn't turn out exactly the way you wanted it. So to start with, I suggest going in really wet washes with it so that it gets the paint gets in all the little grooves because if you just go over it really thinly or thin or thick and just paint, you will lose some of those grooves and the texture to the shell because the paint will fill it in and like smooth it over so that was not what I wanted so I went in very light with watery mixtures and washes and I built up the color slowly so for this I wanted to do something with complementary colors so I chose green and this is kind of like a peachy red pink for the border you'll see it so it looks fairly peach in this Part right now but later when I add more colors it turns a little bit pink but yeah so and then another key part is the center of each little section so each section seems to be like outlined with this groove which you see right now I'm outlining with a darker color but the center part of each of those sections I wanted it to be very light so it would make it seemed like it had more depth to it and then I also outlined it and I, right here you can see I outline it then I take a brush and I try to blend that outline in so that it just helps with shadow and depth so naturally as this is a 3d object it has some depth and shadow but when you add paint to it it enhances it and it makes it much cooler in my opinion so that's another thing Keep the center parts of each section light and the borders dark. It would look really neat though if one of you guys ended up doing one where you made the center dark and the outer edges light. That would be pretty cool. If you guys end up doing this project, don't forget to uh, and post it on Instagram and tag me uh, at said the illustrator. I'd love to see it. Actually, I can't wait to see it. This would be really cool a whole like trend that'd be funny <laughs> anyway so yeah you just build it up in small layers or thin layers I should say should say and then I was using small brush and I had to keep going back over those grooves because they were uh, not filling in as easily as I thought they would and then I go over the smaller grooves on the border I'll call it part that's and I did not use black because I thought black would be a bit too harsh. So I used a toned down color version of the same color. And then you can see right there I'm going back and adding the highlighted section in the center. Another thing I noticed with this is you don't actually have to be very smooth with the painting. You can leave it kind of choppy 
and it adds this texture to it. It's really neat. So you can see right here I'm adding like a totally different bright blue color and then I waited for it to dry a little bit before I wiped it off with the towel. So with the towel what I'm doing is I'm taking off the excess because I didn't want it to be too terribly bright and like blotchy but I wanted the color there still. And that ended up adding some really cool texture. And then right here I'm using this brush. I'm just kind of stippling on or tapping on the paint. Not a whole bunch of paint is on the brush when I do this. So it's a very thin layer and it kind of just adds, if you want to think of it as like the airbrush effect when you're doing digital work. So it softens the colors, it blends it a little bit. It's really cool. And then right here, I went to the fun part, I'm adding metallic paints. So I have a brightish blue metallic paint that I'm going in and just stippling on. I didn't want to cover the whole thing in metallic paint because I thought it would be too shiny, but I did cover most of it in metallic paint. It was a lot of fun. And then right there I'm going in, and since the metallic paint is rather, it's a little bit transparent, so I didn't have to worry too much about the color underneath being lost and I didn't have to water it down too much so I'm going in and highlighting the middle part with that uh, pearl or I think is what the color na is named metallic paint and then if you see on the palette there is that right now I'm using a bronze color and I'm going over the grooves and stuff and then the under edge I end up painting with that same color so it wraps around. I don't know if I show that in the video though, but in person I did that. I mean you can see it. Mm. Yeah right there you see I'm painting that under section with that metallic bronze paint. It kind of just tied it all together I think. Yeah, this project was a lot of fun. You don't really, and then right there I am mixing in some paints with this bright pink metallic color. So right there I am very being very intentional. I want to smooth this thing out before it dries because if it dries it's going to stand out as like a big spot on this uh, on the peachy border. So I was very careful to blend that out quickly. And then right here I'm adding gold paint to the grooves. So I think that just tied the whole thing together. I don't know why exactly, it like brightened it, yet that part is also still the darkest part of the shell. It's just, it made it very unique. And it was a lot of fun. I like metallic paints a lot. So yeah, but that was also, ironically, the most difficult part to do because the brush I decided to use was not like a liner brush. So it was very hard to get it just in that groove and not onto the rest of the shell. And earlier when I was putting the black in that section, I didn't have to worry because I was blending it out anyway, but here I was not blending it out. So I had to be fairly careful. Yeah. Oh gosh, this was so much fun. Can't wait to see your guys' versions. See here, I believe you guys have pretty much made it nearly to the end. So, see here. If you guys made it to the end, what should you guys comment? How about metallic blue? <laughs> So if you guys made it to the end, comment metallic blue. Um, don't forget, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I will see you guys next time. Bye!